All right, we've been telling you about the announcement made today officially of the second Frozen Fenway event at Fenway Park. It's coming up this January. The University of Vermont faces the University of Massachusetts at 4. UNH and UMaine going at it at 7.30. We talked to two coaches earlier. Now the other two coaches, Don Tukuhu from UMass, Kevin Snedden from the University of Vermont. How exciting is this? I'm very excited. I'm excited to be sitting next to Peter Gammons and himself, Tom. I'm excited sitting next to Peter every night. And be with a good friend, Kevin Snedden, although a competitor. And when you find out uh, this was coming together, and obviously they did it a couple of years ago, BUBC, the natural uh, rivalry to kick it off with, how, is it, uh, how, how has it been received that they reached out and brought other schools from around New England into it this well, time? Well, I can speak on behalf of Toot and I. You know, I think it's fantastic to have our programs involved as well. I think BU and BC put on a great show and really showcased our league very, very well. And we're just really honored and, and enthusiastic to be able to have the same opportunity. And, and I know Maine and New Hampshire will put on a great, uh, a great show as well. So, Peter, obviously, uh, last time around, it was a pretty special couple of weeks when they had the ice here. It was incredible. I mean, I mean to think, I was here at another event. BC is playing BU. 39,000 people in the rain to see a college hockey game. And, and it, to me, you know, the, the Bruins were struggling at that point. But just reminded me, this is hockey area. I mean, we all, mo most of us grew up playing hockey. It's great. And it's so good. I mean, we had, uh, I, I think it was, it, it was uh, St. Sebastian's of Belmont Hill. Sam Kennedy said, they could have sold 15,000. They did the same thing for Avon Old Farms playing Kent. I mean, it, it's, it's really good. And, and I think it's important. To bring all of you from New England in, and it's not just inside 128. I think the alumni base from every institution, all four of these institutions, is going to come out in droves. Uh, I know in our situation, flagship program, state of Massachusetts, we've got a lot of people that are living around the greater Boston area that have graduated from UMass. And I would expect that they're going to really gear up for this event, as I'm sure Vermont will support it as they always do coming to Boston. Obviously, when you guys uh, get up on the bench uh, for the game uh, that afternoon, you're all about trying to win. These are league games. you got to try to get the two points. And, and talking with Jack Parker and Jerry York last time around, it was the skate the day before <laughs> that everybody kind of went. Yeah, taking pictures, feeling yeah. like kids. Something about playing outside yeah. to begin with is always special. Doing it here is a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I, I think the one thing that we would all say as coaches is you have to be able to enjoy the moment. And I think, as you said, that Friday is all about enjoying the moment, getting used to the scenery. But bottom line, come Saturday, you know, the, Saturday the 7th, that's an important game for, for all four schools. And we will still certainly enjoy the moment, but it is, uh, it'll be competitive. You'll enjoy it more if you win. I <laughs> yeah, think exactly. it's pretty simple. <laughs> UMass exactly. and Vermont have had some great tilts over the last yeah. few years, and they've gone both ways. But there'll be no bigger tilt that we've been involved right. in That's than right. this game, I can tell you that. <laughs> you know, Peter was talking about Boston as a hockey town, and, and, and most of us uh, believe that has never changed. But now the Bruins win the Stanley Cup. you got Tim Thomas bringing the cup yeah. up to UVM. Uh, kids all around starting to think about hockey. How much does it mean to hockey in New England and ultimately college hockey uh, down the road because the NHL team is winning again? Well, I, I can speak on behalf of being a local kid when Bobby Orr came through this town and the Bruins were, were, were what they were in that era. And I know it had a profound effect on the development of great players that went on to become NHL stars. And I expect this year the same thing will happen. More people are interested. More families are going to get involved and, and bite the bullet and travel and spend their Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings early in the rink. Welcome to my life, by the way. Get him at 5 a.m. <laughs> to the rig. Uh, you know, at Harvard, growing up on the North Shore, uh, what did Fenway Park mean? Uh, you know, is, because you have spent so much time here, is this all that much more special for you guys? Oh, to be part I, I of think this? so. You know, having the opportunity to go to school in, in Boston, a great city, had a lot of fun, a lot of great memories here, coming over for the standing room, standing room only uh, seats, excuse me, and... I remember the last time I was actually on the field. Like today, it was unbelievable to step on the field and, and just see it, you know. And uh, last time I was on the field was when Coach Cleary threw out the first pitch, or shall I say, he tried to throw out the first <laughs> pitch. I think he injured his shoulder and hopped one in there. But it, you know, it's just uh, for me to be back here and, and be experiencing Fenway is just uh, it's something we'll never forget. And as coaches, you always want to give your student athletes experiences that they'll remember for a lifetime. They'll never forget this. In defense, I would like to remind you that Billy Clare is one of the best baseball players who I ever know went it. to Harvard. I do know okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a lot of tennis these days. Or at least yeah. tennis. By the way, I, I, yeah, we joked about it last time. The women played in the afternoon, UNH and Northeastern, uh, the first Frozen Fenway. I think both of them used up all their recruiting trips that day. Bring the kids in. Come see Fenway.
anyway, fine. You know, good well, play with us. As long as they dress properly, <laughs> I got a feeling it's going to be a cold one. But it was be, that night. It, it will be great. Uh, it'll be an unforgettable night. Uh, looking forward to it. Guys, thanks for coming yeah, on. Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Kevin Sneddon, Tuke Cahoon with us here on stage talking about Frozen Fenway 2012, January 7th. Tickets go on sale September 13th. UVM, UMass at 4, UNH, UMaine at 730. We'll have it all right here on Nesson as well. We're back in a moment.